Hello there. In this video, we are going to install the Open JDK from Amazon Coreto and also the IDE. Of course, you can use any IDE you want, but I'm going with IntelliJ because in my opinion, this is the best, but you can use NetBeans, Eclipse, uh, even uh, Microsoft uh, Visual Code. So let's start with Amazon Coreto. Just open, uh, Google it. Amazon Coreto and go to the first link and then download Amazon Coreto 11. This will open a new tab and then here uh, go down until you find your device. I'm using Windows. If you're using Mac, choose this. So I'm using Windows. I'm going to choose the installable. This link here, not the second one. And I'll come back after the download is finished. Okay. Click on it. I'm gonna bring it to the screen and then hit next. And then next, then install. Click finish and then open the command line. Just hit window and then write CMD. Here I'm going to type Java version just to check. And here we can see the open JDK is installed. The next step now is to download the IDE. And as I said, I'm going to download IntelliJ IDE. Intelligent idea. Click download. And there are two versions of uh, Intelligent idea. Uh, the first one is the community edition. This one is free. So you can download this one. The second one is the ultimate. You have to pay for it. Or if you are a student, you can just uh, get all Intelligent products for free. So I'm going to download Ultimate, but they are the same, basically the same in this course. So you can download Community if you want. I'll come back when the download is finished. Click on it. I'll click Next. Next. Here I'm going to check, download, and install 32-bit JetBrains runtime. Then install. This will take a while. I'll come back after installation is done. The installation is done, so I'll just run IntelliJ IDEA and hit finish. It's running in the other screen, so I'll bring it. I'll go with do not import settings. Choosing dark theme or light theme. I'll go with the dark one. No plugins necessary for now. Also, start using IntelliJ. And now the installation is done. And this is just for checking. If you click create new project, you will see here project SDK is Java version 11. So installing Java was successful and also installing the IDE was successful. 